huge progress has been made, but there is no final result yet. And I think it's very sensible not to rush through, um, but to take the time necessary to clear all the details. But on that point of not rushing, don't you think there's been an error on the EU side here? If the EU had, hadn't stuck to its position saying, we won't reopen the negotiation, we won't reopen the Withdrawal Act, the EU has wasted time here. Well, I think the ones who have wasted time are elsewhere. Um, we have stuck to two principles, that is that um, we want the Good Friday Agreement to be respected and um, we want the integrity of the common market to be respected. If I, if I put to you a couple of the concerns that are in the public domain, Angela Merkel raised concerns that the UK will undercut the EU when it comes to regulations. At the moment, uh, the EU states all have the same standards across, for instance, working hours, environmental protections. But what we know of this deal so far, I admit we don't know all of the details by any stretch, but it cuts Britain loose from that. Is that the biggest concession as we know it, that you think the EU is making? These rules, for example, concerning workers' rights, are um, rules that protect workers. So if that is something that is in favour for Britain, well, you can see it from both ways, I think. But uh, you have to see, even if you have the advantage not being, um, being uh, obliged to, to, um, to follow these rules, you will have other obstacles for the economy. So, I mean, I still firmly believe that uh, Brexit will not do any good to either of our economies, neither the British one nor the European one. I think, I still think that we're a lot stronger if we put our efforts together, but it has been um, the choice of the British people and I fully respect that. How happy are you having a non-member state ensuring the integrity of your VAT system, as would then be the case in Northern Ireland? I think this is one of the major um, problems, but I think um, as the tax questions are some that can more or less be um, sorted out um, at uh, desks and in offices, I think this is some, something that we can, that we can work out um, in, in, a, in a manner I'm not a tax expert, but in a manner that, uh, that serves both, um, both sides. If that is the question that is open uh, tonight, I think that can be solved. For us, the much more vital um, point was really not to have any sort of border control on the island, uh, on the Irish island, and um, I hope that there we are going to see the solution. With regards, though, to VAT, you say it can be sorted. Can it be sorted in 24 hours? I think you need some time to really, um, to really have the right uh, words and to have the right translation. And to be honest, I mean, we have been discussing for three and a half years now. I think it shouldn't be a matter of, of a few weeks. OK, so... In terms of your prediction whether the UK will be leaving the European Union, do or die, as Boris Johnson puts it, on the 31st of October, you think not? We need a little time to really put it down in a, in a judicially, formally correct way um, and that we probably will need a little more than the 31st of October. That is my impression. A little more? How much more? I would say weeks not months. But I, I, I really think that time pressure is not something that we should, uh, that we should raise now. I mean, it, does it really make a difference if it's the 31st of October or the 19th of November, which is my birthday, or the 30th of November or whatever? I think if we have a solution settled, we should be really, really satisfied altogether, and then we should uh, move on as quickly as possible. It makes a difference to one man who's made a promise, and that's the Prime Minister. If he can't stand by his word, because as people may view it, the EU dragging their heels, however we got to this point, are you not concerned about that? I mean, are you really serious about this? If, if we have a Brexit delivered, um, if we have all the, the rules clear, and it's only about, like, translation of a few hundred pages and, and, and finding the right formulas. Do you really believe, I mean, that there are people who say then that uh, that would 
be the end of Boris Johnson's career. I mean, please, I think that would really be ridiculous. Katerina Barley, thank you very much.